Hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, uh, we started going to trial uh, and had the cough up queen, uh, whatever her angel star, I believe her name was, as a witness, and found out some interesting stuff. Um, and also that we got a lot of new evidence during the trial because she doesn't trust prosecutors. So today we're gonna dive back into the trial because for the first time it's actually divided up. So without further ado, I think it's just time to dive right back into it. And hopefully we won't fail. February 23rd, 1157, uh, 56 a.m. This court and lobby number two. Um, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Are trials always like this with you? I wish I could say no. Like you're swimming up from the bottom of a lake, about to reach the surface. But no matter how hard you paddle, you never seem to get there. Pretty much. Except today we're swimming in quicksand. What happened to your sister anyway? Apparently she got called off to the judge, uh, judge's chambers. Hmm. Probably something to do with the piece of cloth. So... This is where we turned the trailer on, right? Door. Only weapon. A tiny, insignificant piece of cloth. I'm the one who's starting to feel tiny and insignificant, to tell the truth. Uh, if, if my speech, by the way, seems uh, a bit uh, weird, for some reason my tongue has been like... It feels like it's kind of swelling up or something, so I don't, I don't know what it is. But it's like a bit di more difficult to talk than normal. Hola, partner. Oh, it's Marshall. Miss you show a red cloth to a bull, it'll file up its temper. That's why they told me when I was a young one, at least. That's what they told me when I was young. I can't read either, apparently. The mouth and the eyes just... Oof. Officer Marshall. So I'd come to take a look see. Uh, thought I thought uh, I'd come take a look see at how's the trial is going. Looks like I'm late. They've got the home ranch locked down tighter than a fort in enemy territory. It's hard to slip out, huh? That hard to slip out, huh? What's going on over there anyway? All the police I've seen these last two days has been really on edge. Don't you got enough on your plate without worrying about other people, compadre? You could be worrying about the chief prosecutor's taste in mufflers, for t example. Um, Officer Marshall? The whole muffler thing didn't have anything to do with scarves. He wasn't even wearing a scarf. You don't say. Now don't that just be it all. Huh? I've seen the red breeze blow at her slender neck many a time. I saw it that day too. She was wearing a red muffler. What? At the award ceremony that afternoon. Edgeworth seen it too, I reckon. What does that mean? In the photograph taken at the crime scene, she wasn't wearing a scarf. So, Miss Star wasn't mistaken. Well, it's about time. Remember, partner, sometimes you gotta grab the bull by the horns. Sometimes you just gotta let that bull go where it will. Time will tell. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. So, what are you swimming in now, Mr. Wright? If it's steak sauce, I can hook you up with some fine rigs. Woo-wee! I think the only reason, I, I think in this episode is legit, the only new character I like kinda is Marshall. Because at least I get to talk like... Fucking, fucking care about it. Even if it's a stereotypical one. I'd like to resume. What's up? Judge keeps looking over at the prosecution. Is something wrong, Mr. Edgeworth? Your face is blue, your lips are purple. You're sweating bullets. Furrowed brow, those grinding teeth, those watery eyes. What's more, your eyes are unfocused. 
You doubled over. Your back is bent. It can't be. This can't happen. I wonder what happened to Mr. Edgeworth. Well then, I believe it is time we continue on this uh, on with this trial. During our recess, I requested that the prosecution conducted an investigation. This is unacceptable. Hmm. Seems our prosecutor is quite beside himself. Uh, uh excuse me. Knock knock. Hmm. Who's there? The fuck are you? What's with this guy? A strange stuffy aura seems to be filling the courtroom. Who the fuck are you? Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. Who on earth is he? Ah, oh, it's you. Oh, oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, RG. The roads were packed. It's just me. What time to see, hey, RG? How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, oh, hello, hello. No, oh, I've been so busy. Busy? Busy, Smissy, RG, my boy. You have to, take, you have to make time to relax. Uh, yes, indeed. RG. Seems to be his nickname for the judge. Yeah, but uh, still, I wanna know who the fuck this guy is. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry about. Who are you? Aha! So you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Eh? Huh? Uh, th 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 thanks? So sorry about a little worth of giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly! Little worthy? Please tell me. Yes, that has to be Edgeworth Wright. Please. Mr. Wright, you don't know the district chief of police? Oh! Oh! The chief of police? He's the top ranked police officer in the entire district. Name's Gant. Damn Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. So, uh, what do we have with this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fella. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, th that's my sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But I think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. A little word is car, no less. It's really quite embarrassing. Even for us, what the fuck? SL92. What, what's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite perplexing this. Objection! Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth, how could I miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigation or this lacks, how do you expect us to do our job? Now wait a minute, Wordy. I've no desire to hear your excuses. I'm telling you to wait. Or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says person in charge of investigation. There's no mistake in that signature, is there? Miles Edgeworth. That's that's unfair. On the day of the crime I, I, I had your head in the clouds because you got a reward. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I'll expect a written apology. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. Find a way to clean up this mess. That you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss of for words. Kind of major blunders on lying you, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah. Court accepts accept this new evidence. But 
I like to ask the defense a favor first. Yes? Just to be sure. I'd like to take a look at the blade of this knife. Okay. The blade, Your Honor? I don't see why not. Could you open it for me, I wonder? Yes, well... I think all you had to do is put that, uh, push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point that it at people anymore. Yeah, how can we how can we object if we cut our finger? Come on, just hurry up and open it. Okay, I Thank you, game. Ah, oh, don't scare me like that. I'm the one who is scared. Look at this knife blade. Tape is broken off. This dark red stain. Blood? Baseball denied knife added to the court. Hmm. And then, wait. Oh, found a crime scene wrapped in the defendant's muffler. Small tag attached. This does not excuse the action, uh, actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry. But could I ask you to testify for us? About the split between the prosecutors and the police? And this knife? Sure, sure thing. Not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Okay. This knife is special, but I can't say how right here. Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. The detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. Time of the crime? 515. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. There... There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, RG. We haven't exactly announced it yet. W wait a second. It's 515. That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Order. 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 Anyway, we had a department of... Uh, we're all uh, all are flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Now that explains the opening cutscene, because I was just like, I was like, why 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 are we okay? The chances of that are really slim. Scientifically speaking, of course, I'd, I'd like to examine the right to cross-examine the witness. Very well. However, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. Okay. Excuse me, special? Mm-hmm. How to come by this particular knife anywhere else? Um... And that special thing is little tag. Oh, sorry, Rido, but I can't say that now. Not that. We've established that the knife in Goodman's chest was this knife. Now, why was there another knife at the scene of the crime? Quite a mystery. Like a mystery, it's wrapped in something. A muffler! Uh... Wait a second. Objection! Wait a second. Ah, at last, an honest goodness objection. This knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? 
Aha, I don't know goodness. What do you mean, Fromaggi? This is great. Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. This is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. Hmm, what's this? 6 minus 7 S 12 2 Burner? It's upside down Upside Printed nade on the menu uh, Maybe it looks like it's right side up But turn it around and what do you get? Ah Aha! Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. The nine. That's the same thing that is written on the knife's tag. Order, order. Well, chief? Oh, well. I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. We, we win? I, I, I win? Uh, what game is this guy playing? Knife was evidence is like in a case. It was stolen from the department evidence room. But this knife was stolen? Yeah, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. What is in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little wordy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since solved. But this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection there. Something happened at the police department too, huh? Got a good look in your eyes there, Ryder, my boy. Sharp. Hungry. So... Something did happen. And why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why didn't you ask? Because I don't think someone would use out of blue is like, Oh, by the way, did someone get murdered over at the police department? No matter, I understand. You're busy. What, with Lana's case and all? Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? The same day that a detective was killed in a prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact! Surprising, isn't it, Dodgy? I'm at a loss for words. The perpetrator? You have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him, in fact. Arrested? That was quick. But, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, right up. I suppose I could help. If you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. This kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. Oh, what the f- Oh, no. How the- What are we- No, wait. We already know when the victim died, because he already said it, 515. When the victim was found, that would be... How? Well, how was the detective killed? How was he killed? Now that's the interesting part. It was supposed to be in the force called a stabbing. With a knife. A knife? That's exactly the same as Detective Goodman. That's the spirit. We're cooking now. But well, you know, that's not the only thing that was exactly the same. W what do you mean? There's more similarities between the two cases than the cause of death. Seems like I'm going to have to press this a bit harder. Five? Five fifteen? But that's... That's when Detective Goodman was killed in the prosecutor's office. What? Funny, isn't it? 
murder at the prosecutor's place and a murder at our place at the very same time. What are the chances? Coincidence? It's just my gut feeling. But I say there's a 0 0.001 chance of that happening. If can't, please tell us more about the incident. How can you say there's no connection? How? Because I'm the chief of police. Can you say anything I please, Rido? You understand? I don't understand, Rido. Well, if you can prove there's connection, more power to you. Maybe there's something that ties the two murders together? Whatever it is, I better find it and get to the bottom of it. Two detectives were cleared at 515. One at the prosecutor's office, and one at the police department. That can't be a coincidence. And that knife? What was it doing there? I better check this knife out. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Is there anything else? I mean, there's this tag. This small tag on a knife. It says SL92. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not sure. But it reminds me of a similar code. DL6? Maybe it's a case number. That's weird. What? I don't remember where. But I think I've seen something like this before. Something similar to what uh, was written on the tag. It wasn't that long ago either. Maybe I should check the court record again. I mean, we have the note. Like, we have this. Yeah. It's even turned, like, the right way up now. What am I supposed to do? Something happened at the police department too, huh? Got a good look in your eyes there, right, my boy? Sharp, hungry. Oh. Oh, it's another four. Why didn't you ask? No matter. Blah, blah, blah. Lana's case. Yes. And there's nothing on this either. Why don't we have that other photo too? Uh... Oh no, the music didn't stop. Oh no, the statement contradicts this evidence. It does? Oh no. What are we supposed to do, chat? What are we supposed to do? One at the prosecutor's office. What was it doing there? So this knife was stolen. And they had murder. Murder weapon, yes, yes, yes. Stuff. How do you think there isn't a connection there? Oh, 
the fuck am I supposed to do here? Like, there's obviously something that connects the two things. But what is it? Uh Wait. Maybe we can get him uh no wait. Well, which one was it again that... Uh, this one? That allowed her to ask a question. It's a rest of in fact. Da -da -da. Do I ask? I mean... I guess this one. So tell me, where's the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found. I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? Wait a second. I've heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? That was evidence in the case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You're happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? Happy? We just got hand out a ticket to go to town on this case. Link between the two cases established. We finally have some leverage. Now we can get Gan to testify about the details. Objection! Oh wait, this is not how I... Do this, do I? Uh, I kind of fucked up there. Hmm. Wait, have I pressed the last thing at all? They are not do that. Uh, no. Here, press. Beef? The defense position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Ah, huh, you don't say. Well, I would it right out. What's your connection? That would it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in testimony we just heard. A knife found in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. I mentioned the victim had on him the case number on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in the very same evidence room. Eel, there do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you deducted right there. Chief, I requested that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet. At all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. What? Really? That was way easier than I thought. Who would have guessed? But I can't reveal. If you're going to tell us a little, why don't tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. I mean, wait. ID number? Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? 
Sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name after all. We got tight lid on ID number, so don't go getting our ear hopes up. The number is... 5842189 Wow, well, that's quite long. I have to remember this. It drives me nuts. 82 I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Well, Mr. Wright, does this tell you anything? ID number of the victim and police department. Yeah, this does tell us something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does, I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. What does this mean? Well, let's see what the defense has to say. That ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something. What does it tell you? Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. No, I, I just, I got confused. And this is news? Hmm? Just come out with both guns blazing. Like you always do. The police department. Prosecutor's office. Two places, two detectives murdered. At one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Uh-huh. Is it yours? No, your honor. I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personnel IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is... 5842-189. And this means... What exactly? Huh? Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier. That started with A2. Um, I've forgotten. Didn't even get the first number right. Again! The number the chief of police gave us was... 5842-189. Wait a second, right? What does this... Mean? That's what I wanna know. Two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our, wis our witness think about that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. sharp as attack, right? Oh, sharp as attack. But wait, detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 515 in the underground parking lot. Yet, a detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room. At the exact same time. Th that's impossible. So, what we're saying is. The same person was killed at the same time? And in a completely different location? Order, order. Chief, what does this mean? No. What I want to know is. Why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine. But I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, Wordy. No need to get all frost. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait. I said wait. But didn't you hear me? The oversight? The grave error? Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How? How dare... He informed you yesterday. I believe it was your officer Meekings who brought you news. You the news? Officer Meekings? Oh, the... the like, yes sir! Like, uh, uh, everything. Is right? Where have we heard that name before? Wait. Aha! Um... Yes, this dude! Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? 
he's not just said something as well. Now I'm not accusing him of something, but he also has an injured hand. I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I got your report, sir. You don't mean him? According to me, Kings, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said the report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Thank you, Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Dredgeworth, the victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Yeah. Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem challenged. Ooh, a oh, come on. That's, that's not nice. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence English of duty on your part, Worthy. But sir, you could have submitted a report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... No such luck this time, Wordy. Or should I say, unworthy? What? Oh, it's the second rule of evidence law, hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Huh? Oh, well, it's a uh, rule two. Unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you just made a list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence until a connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Rido over there. Good job, Rido, my boy! Huh? Uh, I, I... I was just doing my job. No. No! Fuck! Why don't I have the Darth Vader no on hand? Why do I... Yeah. He said. It seems we have to come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Wordy. What with all those rumors? You were even, even in the defendant's chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened. It was the last thing I do. You better get results this time. Really? You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error in this series in the history of this court. We'll grant one for the day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be su uh, sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well. Court is adjourned. Oh, that, oh, wait, that was it? That was it? What the fuck? That was it? Okay. Sure. Um. Uh, yeah. That's that's interesting. At least it seems we're going towards this investigation. So that's gonna be it for this episode of Phoenix Wright as Attorney. Uh, this was kind of interesting. Not gonna lie. Um, with the chief of police just testifying and honestly, probably the best character so far in this. Just because he has a personality and isn't an annoying little shit <coughs> like a certain someone uh, that we know. So, next time we're gonna be investigating further, I guess. See more about why there was two Goodmans murdered at the same time in two different places. Full on like action or like time travel movie sort of deal. So... That being said, I wish you guys a very nice continued evening, afternoon, morning, or whatever it is, whatever you are. If you haven't followed or subscribed uh, yet, uh, both here on Twitch and on the YouTube, make sure you do that to find out whenever I post something or go live. 
So, that being said, I wish you guys a very nice day. I'll see you guys next time. So have a good one, everybody. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys then.